Welcome to Dorsta. I'm Kino Gri. Any longtime viewer of the channel will know me as a super dimensional time traveling VR exploring magical girl. But did you know that I also have access to meat space? I'm taking my meat body on a road trip in the United States of America. Let's see how it goes. Good morning. So I'm on the Laguna um, Pueblo Indian Reservation. Now, uh, governments in America are pretty complicated. You might know that there's a federal and state government, but each Indian tribe also has its own national sovereign government. And I've noticed here that the Indian governments are much more strict about mask requirements than the uh, state government is. Um, they're absolutely mandatory in any public space here, and I have seen people get scolded. But if I go just a couple miles away into uh, the New Mexico territory, then people just don't wear them. It's late in the morning, and I've just returned from a reconnoiter of Albuquerque, dressed as a local. And I find this stowed away in my vehicle. Well, hello. I picked him up at Craters of the Moon. I've offered to take him to Roswell, but he says he doesn't want that. What I should do is take him to Black Mesa, since I'm not too far away, and leave him there for them to deal with. I'm just joking, I wouldn't do that to you. Let's go for a hike. So this is where I'm hiking. I have about a mile and a half, which is a couple kilometers, if not three. And we're headed to some prehistoric sites. I'm told that they're quite interesting. Oh, I'm already feeling thirsty. It's kind of, it's getting hot. I should start moving. This is the first part of the trail. I'm walking by a dried up creek, which is what my mouth feels like. It's, it was about 26 degrees when I left the car. There's a light breeze, which feels very nice. Everything smells very good on account of these uh, juniper trees, I'm guessing. The trail's pretty well walked, so I feel pretty confident I can stay on it, but I don't have a map because the station is all out. So, back to being lost in the southwest. I believe that's where I'm going. If you can see in the hills, there's all these cutouts. And there's some prehistoric uh, homesteads up there. It's getting hotter by the minute, and um, I'm really feeling the effects of being a mile up from the sea more than I'm used to. A lizard! Oh. Well, he's not gonna climb the ladder, so I guess I'll do it. See you at the top. trail continues on. So I'm walking here on old, uh, what I gather is compressed volcanic ash. It's been petrified, metamorphized. It's very rough. You'll notice that the ground is worn into this track which I'm walking along. And this is not runoff or rainwater. This is centuries and centuries of people walking through this area. Of course, I'm doing it with shoes on. They must have had some calluses on their feet back then. Ooh, they're ladders. So here we are in my new home. That's why I came all the way out here to change residence. Well, Lemon Drops, this is the end of my journey. From Levensworth, I've driven over 1,800 miles. Exploring meat space is quite a challenge, and exploring the southwest of the United States presented me with a whole bunch of new challenges. It's very rewarding to travel. I think that in a non-COVID time, there would have been a lot more for me to do. But nevertheless, it was still worthwhile, is that I sit here 
and look at the scenery and take in some thoughts. Anyone is wondering how much sunscreen Pinot Gris has to wear when she goes out? It's about this much, and it needs to go back onto my skin. Good old titanium dioxide. dioxide. Pinot Gris here with a doors to travel tip. When you're refueling in the United States, there are two types of fuel. You have black and green. Green is diesel. Diesel is biofuel. Diesel is better fuel. It burns cleaner, it's more efficient, it's better for the environment. So if you drive a Prius or another hybrid, remember to ask for diesel. The green fuel for the green car. You'll need no other fuel. This is my first meal in three days, a proper meal. So forgive me for starting without you. But this is New Mexican food. Chili, with chilies on top of it. Probably some more chilies inside of it someplace. I need to go back to work. Oh, and a sopa pia with honey for dinner or dessert. Ta-ta! This is my first cup of tea in however many days. Mm. Poor tea is good tea. Given the relationship to aliens that occurs at Roswell and Black Mesa, I as a Uranusian really needed to keep my wits about me. The altitude and the heat gave me a serious case of the poo brain. With the help of my new friend though, I made it through. Even for our time traveling super dimensional magical Uranusian girls, it is uh, very normal to get caught up in the ongoings of the civilization around us. So to sit in the skeleton of a dead civilization was a great place to think and to allow my imagination to clear itself and swell anew. With that swelling, but a path opened up ahead of me. So even though this journey closed, the next journey is beginning. I just hope that this one has food that that's good. Well, those chili rellenos were so good. Oh! Well, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. It probably won't be meat space. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.